everyone and welcome to the Ling Lads. Today I am doing a flip through of Guess Hello's Junior Human Anatomy and Health Curriculum. So this is for grades 3 through 8 and as it says it's got experiments, videos, engaging activities, books as in recommendation for books and you can do this for multi-grade teaching obviously because it spans through 3 through 8. They just have a bunch of intro uh, introduction information at the beginning but basically the gist of it is is that you don't have to do everything that's in the plan it's really important because she puts all kinds of stuff she puts video links she puts books she puts activities and games and it's particularly in the geography one there was so much stuff you could feel overwhelmed but you remember the most important thing is you don't have to do everything it's a buffet so you can pick what you want so you know pick maybe two videos or maybe one activity, you don't have to do everything on there. She just gives you lots of variety and I appreciate that, particularly if you are doing a multi-age um, activity because obviously you might want a video that's suitable more for your youngers while your olders are doing a different activity and so on. So I do appreciate the fact that she gives you so much choice. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing, but you just have to get out of the mindset of I must take the box because you're not going to be able to. <laughs> this is not the curriculum for ticking boxes. This is a curriculum for variety and taking what you need from it or want from it. So she really um, hones in on that. So you could do a bare bones version um, if you wanted to make it work. And the reason that I think this, this is particularly important is if you are wanting to do this as an additional topic, um, because if you said to someone, I'm doing two science courses, they probably think you were crazy. But there is the option of doing the bare bones version. Um, I'm, that was my cat. <laughs> Big stretch, making it work for you. Now, again, this is a literature based program. So there are a ton of book recommendations. But the thing that I love about uh, Guest Hello is they do number them. So one is essential, two is not absolutely necessary, but highly recommended. Three is optional but recommended. And then four is optional and less important. Now, the very first time I ever did a Beowulf, um, well, guest holler, I should say, curriculum was the English with uh, the English language arts curriculum, and there were so many books, and they're amazing. And I did buy threes, and I don't regret it at all. But this year, I'm being very mindful um, to to only go with probably ones and twos, and I may even pare it down smaller than that and just pick the ones that are multi week use only. Um, I haven't decided, but what I thought I'd do, which would be interesting, was I'll put in to my cart. Um, to ones and twos and then you can see how much that would cost to give you an idea now the way I do things is I do used and I do new if I can't do used in these types of curriculum so I'll show you what how that would work out now obviously she does say you can get them from your library but I have a really hard time where I currently live hopefully when I we move that might be different but where we currently live now it's really hard to get any of the books so I do tend to buy either new or used um, but the way I, I, I look on it is you've always got that book list for later on if you want to come back and do a unit study you can always refer back to her list um, maybe look at some of the threes and fours then um, so you don't have to go out and buy every single book because that will make it really expensive these guys are really cheap they're uh, 25 dollars but then obviously when you add on the books it can get really pricey so you just have to you know think about what you would reread or use in the future that's how i think is a good way to do it especially because this is science um, based i'll be looking at things that we could use in high school um, so as well that will last you know throughout the years if you've got younger ones you might want to go for some of the more younger books but you know just be mindful of the fact you don't have to buy everything and she doesn't even say that anyway you know she says get some from the library if you can and she gives you a really handy list with the schedule so if, as you can see at the top it'll give you options to buy or both borrow from the library um she also tells you if it's available as an ebook or if it's free anywhere um and she also tells you if it's a middle school add-on so that they're particularly relevant for me because my daughter will be in seventh grade next year um so i really appreciate that and what i do is as you can see i've already started is i highlight ones and twos and then I also highlight ones that are used in multiple weeks so if my budget allows for ones and twos then that's what I'll do if it doesn't and only allows for multiple weeks then that's what I'll do so that's why I've got my multiple options the way my budget works is I have a monthly amount every week every week I wish every month that I put away for homeschool and then um, as we get in closer to curriculum time I'll start costing out different avenues and you know different ways we might we might do homeschool that year and see what would be most affordable affordable if some of my curriculum is very expensive um, but i think it's really worthwhile to use it then i might buy less of other things so that's how i do my one two orange <laughs> checklist for um or highlighting i should say for this particular curriculum i still haven't decided whether i'm going to use it yet so i haven't purchased anything but um 
obviously if I do then you'll see in my curriculum hall but I wanted to get everything labeled up and priced out and costed out so I know if I decide to go ahead with it then we have that option. She also has a list of other uh, items you can purchase so for example um, there's a Thames kit which is about DNA there are also different um, three options for dissection kits there's a blood test kit um, there's the Maggot School Bus World of Germs highly recommend that we've done that previously and my daughter loved it um, so you know those are all on there as well if you'd like to consider those too she also always gives you a supply list broken down by the week which I really appreciate because then if you are pl a plan either plan ahead or um, plan at the beginning of the year then you can go through and see if there's anything you need to get in stock in your home stall, home stall cupboard or box or wherever you keep stuff okay so let's go straight through to the schedule so this is a 36 week curriculum but as you get towards the end some things do drop off as is always the case because obviously you get to the end of the year so it's the same principle throughout so you have the week at the top you have the topic at the top so week one is all about cells it's a monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday option again you can tailor that to suit yourself sometimes i do these over two days when i've done them in the past um it just depends on what we're doing um, at that time so for example you would read the book enjoy yourselves so you could read it through the whole week so you'd have to decide how many pages your child was going to read or how many chapters or if they want to read it all in one go um, there's also a magazine you can purchase separately she lists the pages to read there's a horrible science book which are always really good uh, it tells you what pages to read if you've got younger children that's for them so the lower end of the the spectrum in terms of the um grade so for th th grade three and up I suppose um, and it tells you what topic for them you've got blood and guts again chapters then there is a ream of videos as you can see she does say they're not always long um, so don't worry about that but I really do love adding videos um, to our homeschool I just think it's, it adds so much more when you can see it presented in different ways she does have brain pop suggestions if you have brain pop i've never had that before let me know have you ever used brain pop is it good i noticed it was super expensive but so let me know if it's any good especially for these upper grades then the next category is projects and activities so again this is your project book um, and tells you when to do it and what pages to do so you'd make a cell mobile it also has coloring book options as well if you wanted to get the human anatomy coloring book then um so I think there were two versions, one for younger and one for older. So it was more in depth in terms of the anatomy. Then she has some printables that you can print off if you want to. Um, and then some websites to visit. So that's week one. Okay, we'll skip through to week 17. This is on the digestive system. Again, she's giving you a choice of two books to read. The Quest to Digest or It Takes Guts. Um, there is Horrible Science again. Then there's How to Be a Genius. Then Blood and Guts activities that you could do. Um, from the book um, then there is more videos um, if you've ever watched operation out it's if you haven't definitely check it out it's really funny it's about these two twin doctors and my daughter absolutely loves that program so definitely recommend it um, and then we have projects and activities again with the coloring book so these are the, the sorts of things that you would definitely want to get so because obviously you're using them multiple times the body book the coloring book um, that blood and guts one looks like it's used a ton as well. Okay, I completely lied, it's a 35 week schedule. There we go. So as you can see, it's really thinned out towards the end of the year, which is what you would expect. So that's week 34. Um, this does have uh, a girl's ultimate body book and a boy's one. Um, so you've got a choice there. And then that's your week 35, really slimmed out, which is survival and what to do in emergencies. Okay, so now we'll have a look at the book list and see how much that would cost you if you were to go for the ones and the twos. Currently in my Amazon cart, in case you're interested. <laughs> this is only in the shopping basket. You don't even want to know my safe for later. So you can tell we're moving. So mattress protectors, new doorbells. And then I saw this book um, recommended a few times. And it sounded really good, the book of last names. But anyway, I'm just going to delete those out so I can move in the books from my shopping cart, safe for later. Okay, so these are the ones that I found new. So I'll show you the new price first and then we'll look at used. So there's a couple that, since I put them into my safe for later, have gone. Um, so I'll have to see if I can find them. So one of them was Poop Happened, How to Use... I don't even know. You Can't Use Your Brain If You're a Jellyfish and The Skeleton Book. 
So those are the ones that are no longer available. I think that's because they were all used versions, used from Amazon, obviously. Okay, so my total would be 212.31. Now, we can tell, look at my moving stuff. <laughs> um, some of these, you can tell which are the new ones and which one they use due to the fact it doesn't say Prime, because I do have Prime. So anything that is not got Prime here is a used book. So this was used, but it was really expensive because I think it was really hard to find. Um, this is a used one, reasonable price. This is the pasta one. I think there might be a couple of threes that have snuck in because I don't think that was a two, but it sounded really good. I can't remember. I'll have to check. Um, but th that one's obviously new because it's got Prime on there. So just to give you an idea of the prices, those are all used. That one's a new one. A new one, a new one, a new one, a new one. A used, a used, used, new. I think that's a three actually, um, or this one, one of them is a three for sure, but they sounded really good, so I might consider them. So that's what I've got in terms of if it was new and used. Now I'm just going to show you if it was just purely used. Now they didn't have all of them in my used store, but they did have a few and it came to 73.34. There is a discount because it's they have a promotion on, um, buy three, get another under Another free if they're under books are under two pounds. Uh, sorry, under five pounds when all of them were. So in what they had, so they had Enjoy Your Cells, Ultimate Girls Body Book, Microbiology, Quest to Digest, Bones, Genetics, German Zappers, Gene Machines Have a Nice DNA, Some Secrets Should Never Be Kept, Blood and Guts, um, The Fight Against Microbes, and that's exactly the only ones that they had, but it's quite a few, and that was seventy three thirty four. So that's the difference in price, but as I said, some of them were not available used currently. Obviously, that changes with people just selling things on. And then the last thing I'll tell you is what each week covers. So week one is cells. Week two is DNA and genes. Week three is still DNA and genes. Week four is the skeletal system, as is week five. Week six is the muscular system, as is week seven. Week eight is brain and nervous system, as is week nine. Week 10, eyes, the sense of sight, as is week 11. Week 12 is ears, hearing more about senses, as is week 13. Week 14 is the heart, cardiovascular system. Week 15 is the blood, week 16 is respiratory, week 17 is digestive, as is week 18, week 19 is nutrition, week 20 is nutrition, week 21 is nutrition, week 22 is nutrition and the urinary system, week 23 is the endocrine system, week 24 is the main free system, the skinny, skin, skin, <laughs> I have to entertain myself, Shadow loves watching me turn the pages. Um, week 25 is germs, as is week 26. Week 27 is diseases and parasites. 28 is the same. 29 is the immune system. 30 is drugs. 31 is growth and reproduction. Uh, so it's 32 and 33. 34 is survival and what to do in emergencies. And so is a 35. And that's everything. So I am really impressed so far. Um, as I said, we haven't used it yet, so I can't tell you what it's like to use, but from the overview and everything, it looks great. The literature picks look fantastic. I haven't watched any of the videos yet or had a look at the extra activities yet or the printables, but I'll definitely let you know um, if I do and sort of obviously use it and give you a review if we do. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.